whatever your title for today's episode should be farewell fat frank ah man frankie boy the biggest waste man of the english premier league right come on that's just how all the local fans are feeling right now the hard the hard heart, <laughs> heartbreak <laughs> man i think this is the shortest title defense this is also where you guys might get get it from southampton no <laughs> nah, this is. You know Mo is gonna do what he does best. Nah, man, these guys must make Mourinho shut up, please. Yeah, bro. It's all football, man. The ball is round, bro. Yeah. All I'm doing is praying for Arsenal, bro. I don't even care about Liverpool. I don't even care about Liverpool. Liverpool will be the loser. I don't care. I'm praying for Arsenal, man. Yeah, I'm having the best time of my life, bro. Oh, Handos! Handos, my brother. Handos. Fucking useless game week in my life. Um, I'm giving up on fantasy this season. <laughs> Sad. The team's not doing well. I'm not hey, you can hear it, but like, like just the tone of this guy's voice, bro. Ah, he's depressed, this man. Corny ass motherfucker. Corny ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they come alive when they play United, bro. Otherwise, this is like episode what, guys? 16. Mm. Sweet 16. I don't have enough hands for 16. Yeah, okay, I'll bring... Oh, yeah. No, that's number one. I don't even have hand. Okay, hand. I'm holding the phone with the other hand, right? <laughs> so five. <laughs> Congratulations, gentlemen. Episode sixteen. Four three three. Four three three. Lockdown level three. Yeah, lockdown. <laughs> lockdown level five point seven. Whatever. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Point eight two five. Goddamn, bro. The new patch has been uploaded. <laughs> It's been a while since we had like a toast of the day. It's been a while since we hey, had like well, a show with we need some the beers. Toast. <laughs> Man, Monday, we're drinking tea and water, bro. Saving the good stuff. <laughs> why? Oh, ah, it's a mess. A lot of fans might be asking why I'm playing this uh, video in the background of me. But that's just how uh, all the local fans are feeling right now. The hot, the hot. <laughs> the heartbreak. <laughs> the sadness. No, it's terrible for you guys, bro. I don't know. You kind of had the glimpse on the FA Cup, though. That you, yeah, uh, Mo Salah, Mo Salah. Fans. Finally, Mo Salah, something. Yeah, the shit, that game was hectic as well, man. But it was a good match. It was a good match to watch. Classic. I don't mind the FA Cup. I'm just... It's been a month in January. It's just been hell for the Premier League, man. <laughs> man, I think this is the shortest title defense uh, of any any cup a team has ah. done, bro. We got this joint in like September, bro. It's gone already, bro. Fuck us, no. I'm, I'm sad. Good. I'm sad, but you know, uh, it's still we we only six points behind. I mean, I feel like Klopp right now. Just don't know what the fuck's going on. Bloody fuck, bloody, bloody you, bloody fuck you, bloody man. I was ready to. Yeah. Pounce on Sean Dyche, bro. That was crazy. No, but I'm thinking, but I mean, Liverpool are only six points behind uh, mm-hmm. you guys. It's early days. Early days, still a lot of games to go. We still play you guys again. Yeah. Um, I mean, what's what, 18 games to go now. Bro. Yeah, it's and crazy. like you still got like a whole bunch of hard games coming your way. So everyone's got, you know, their chances. Like yeah, like we that, said... That league open, bro. Like we said last week, uh, that... From from first to like tenth is like what like a seven point eight point gap, you know, mm. whatever, you know. Mm. So as soon as someone slips up once, everyone's catching them. So yeah, it's so it's hopefully on the, this crazy run, bro. Yeah, they like two points off us, and they still have a game in hand. Yeah, so they gotta yeah, have a chance to go above you. All. Um, I just feel that I think Liverpool's gone to their bad patch now. Hopefully that, that FA Cup game kind of woken up their attack socks. They tech shoes are back on, whatever it is, you know. But mm. but like hopefully now we've gone through our slump, we're back, and then everyone else goes through their slump. And then Yeah, yeah. You know well, the other thing is you don't it's one less thing to worry about. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It causes fatigue, bruh. <laughs> but you see uh, our clock is like rotating. But I think is uh but today's uh I think the video title for today's episode should be Farewell, Fat Frank. Ah, man. Frankie boy. Like, and we <laughs> talked about this shit last, last game week, last oh, episode. Like, he, he, he's, he's got next. Uh, shame. And he took it the wrong way, bro, on a Monday morning too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Abramovich was like, let that nigga coach. 
Let, let him coach the, the FA Cup game. We're just going to hey. drop, drop the bomb on the Monday. Uh, <laughs> and then Timo Werner goes and still misses a penalty, bro. That was cold, bro. Busy fighting Giroud. And he misses. I laughed so hard with my... That laugh came from my, my soul, bro. I was like, dude, really? <laughs> uh, yo, yo, Timo stays missing, bro. Like, he stays... <laughs> oh, like, he's hired to miss. <laughs> like I was... How much have they spent on their players? 222 million. Almost 100. God damn. 222 million. How much is Timo, though? Like, close to 100. Was it like 70? Yeah. It was close to 100. Yeah, like 80 something. My God. Yeah, well, if, the, if it's add ons, they're never going to get those add ons because the way they do. <laughs> Man, mine hasn't. I think they, they have a, the one where he hits the bar or the corner flag, maybe they must give him half pay or something. <laughs> I think the only standout from the last two weeks was maybe West Brom beating Wolves, bro, at home. <laughs> I think the whooping boys were the finally got a chance to whoop someone back. They won him. They beat Wolves. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> uh, West Brom, they, they deserved it, though. It was that- yeah, they did. They worked hard. Yeah, there was that game, and then there was the. I think it was probably. Yeah, I think that was the only standard game, man. That was like a shock. Well, the rest was standard. Fit. No, well, the Leicester, obviously, the reason why Frank is gone because he got eaten by Leicester. Well, I mean, <laughs> everyone saw that coming, man. Yeah. Apparently, but, the last three coaches for Chelsea lost their jobs after losing to Leicester. I don't know. Yes, yeah, man, the Foxes. The Foxes, they're biting people. But yo, let me just share something real quick. Like you mm. guys have to see this shit. And I'll miss you. And I'll miss you. Oh, Timo oh, Ben. And I'll miss you. 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 And I'll miss you, Timo Ben. <laughs> Waste man, bro. The guy, oh, yo. The biggest waste man of the English Premier League, right? The man. Man. It's like they sent him to do this to Lampard, right? They're like, yeah, just keep me- messing up. Watch him score like a hat trick the next game. You could actually be right. It could be the manager. The manager could be fucking him yeah. big time. Yeah. Yeah. Telling him, don't do that. Don't do this. Do <laughs> you know, that kind of that shit could affect the fucking player, bro. But damn. Uh, but I also think to- Tuchel is a waste man. Like, he's yeah, the biggest he, waste man on the planet. It, it makes sense as to why PSG was like, nah, B. Because they didn't say why they fired him, why they let him go, right? Because they weren't doing that badly in, in, the, in, in, the, in the league that side, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a farmer's league, but still. I mean, the farmers managed to get to the Ch- uh, Champions League final, so... <laughs> But the issue, I think these guys had set it up from the beginning. You say, hey, man, if Lampard messes up, are you ready to come through? And he was like, yeah, I'm good. So when they said, okay, he's got two more games, he messes, oh, two show gets fired. And that's when I was thinking, no, Lampard, you're the next one. Because Tuchel has a good relationship with the, the, the higher ups at, at Chelsea. So yeah. it was I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. Thomas... Thomas couldn't win. He had the biggest bag of every team in the world right now before yeah. fair play. And he still couldn't win with all those guys, Mbappe, Neymar, whatever. He had like... Mbappe the- the- yeah, That's why Cavani is the way he is now because he was like, nah, fuck these guys, I'm leaving. Because <laughs> Neymar apparently is a dickhead to work with, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you got to find like like people with... with uh, part of coaching is man management, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Lampard has been sacked. Well, I guess now th- there's no real like big staunch leader in the Chelsea. You can't point to one person and say, this is that Chelsea dude. N- no one can say that because all of these guys are young dudes and the armband rotates crazily. So yeah, that's the issue. They don't have leadership on the, on the, on the field. Oh, well, farewell, Stat Frank. Wish- well, it's been great. Ah, it's been great. She'll go back great. to Derby. She'll go back to Derby. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a job over there, bro.
Uh, I mean, John Terry's hopes of becoming. Nah, John Terry is waiting for West. He's waiting for that West Ham up, right? He's waiting to eat up Waste Man Moyes' spot. So, oh, sorry, he's an Aston Villa. What am I saying? He, that that's where he's gonna start. He knows he did the right thing. He went to like a, those relegation mid-table teams, and they're doing well. So they'll make it say, "Oh, look, it's because of his. He, he was in the coaching staff." If things ever go pear shaped, you can say, "Hey, man, I was assistant at this team. Give me a chance." So, but he's not gonna get like a top six team, even a top ten team. So you play in those areas, eleven to twenty. Yeah, yeah, wild team. Some promoted team, but it's gonna be. It's, I don't know. It's easier said than done, bro. This this shit's not easy, even for the experienced ones. Your Mourinho's. Your your Ancelotti's right. They're seeing it's 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 competitive, but everyone is seeing a flame, right? Obviously, Klopp uh, always got some will. This time, he's moving. Uh, I think I think also the players. Uh, it's embarrassing, right, to be playing beans and you're wearing that that badge, but you have to make a plan. Like Pogba just stepped up because I think he heard everyone like, ah, come on, dude, uh, make a plan. He's got the most out of Paul Pogba. Remember, like maybe two, three weeks ago, I was done. I even unfollowed fucking Paul Pogba on Instagram. Yeah, you were like, how pissed off I was with Paul Pogba, bro. I was like, fuck this guy. Can be wearing this. So, Stein, it was probably you, bro. You Like, he saw you unfollow and he was like, oh, shit, no. I can't lose Stein. You weren't can't lose Stein. Hey, like, <laughs> These guys are b- burning me up, man. He had to go and get a fresh cut and he was getting them assists. And the goal. But no, whatever he did, he 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 got them working working at the. Nah, it's good. I got, gotta give him his props, man. Yeah. I think, uh, I think yeah, I think that's what's happening right now. Liverpool that the uh, Klopp is not doing his greatest with each player individually to bring the best out of them. I think the whole Mo Salah saga about leaving, the rumor vibes, not getting extra money vibes, the money not gelling, and then Klopp, Klopp and then Klopp is just like, you know. Per- Brushing the shirt off like nothing's happening, but he knows it's all deep seated shit happening behind the scenes. Uh, he has to. That's his media training. Oh, uh, you know, I know, you uh, know. Uh, and, I think, and I think the FA Cup. <laughs> I think the FA Cup game this past weekend, uh, Mo Salah came to the fray because maybe something has been said or done backstage. But then also, mm. like I've always said, like, like I've always said, if you start a game with either Mane or Salah by themselves, the game goes mm. better. Because you, you see, Salah started without money, and he had banging two goals. The money came on, and then the game died. <laughs> you know, but you guys could play together. What the fuck happened, bro? That's the point. There's there's a there's a bitterness between the two, and if you start one by himself, he does a better job. As soon as the other one comes on or comes on for the him, that's when rivalry comes. You, in. you know what I also think? Klopp was actually playing them off against each other because he was getting the best out of them. Getting into the ear, say, "Hey, look! You see how this guy's playing, bro. If you keep playing like this, you're not going to play." And then he'll do the same thing on the other side. But for one of them, it's not been working. Like money just fell off, bro. I don't know what's going on. But the worst thing about our team at the moment is Trent Alexander Arnold. He has is having the worst season of his. Man, as a hideous crosses, bro. I was confused. I was like, "Is this the same player, bro?" Bro, he's 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 beaten himself twice in world record attempts where he's. Had the most number of crosses, but not reach a player in the game. <laughs> Team of Werner style. He had 17 against Burnley, not reached a player. Not one of them reached another player. He had 17 crosses that like just went to thin air. Went and got defended or, or didn't get to, <laughs> it, it didn't get to a level of a player. Hey, 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 hey. You just cleared the ball. Basically. You were clearing so, the ball for Burnley, bro. <laughs> so in the AG area. <laughs> And his and his oh, defensiveness, his defensiveness is shite. I mean, you saw that against like he switches off. Like you saw it against Cavani in the NFA Cup. He was literally nowhere. And when Cavani hit the post right at the end, yes. it's like yes. oh man, no, was, no. Uh, Trent is. I think Klopp needs to look at this and be like, listen, Trent, sorry, but take a break. Bring someone else to play fucking right back. Simple as that. Does he have competition in that position? No, no. no well, he does. Well, not really in terms of. Experience competition. He has the light, yeah. but that is not going to do shit. Nico Williams. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Play that old Bali Milner. You could play Milner. And Milner was holding it down for a bit because, like, when it was getting hot for 
for Liverpool, it was me when I was actually cleaning up all the mess people were doing there. Just put me on there while Trent is trying to get his like you know confidence back yeah. and whatnot. But the only thing that I can take away from the FA Cup game is that at least Liverpool scored two goals. So she is yes. Yeah. It was actually a fire game. Yeah. But anyways, oh, these guys, Arsenal three 0 against Newcastle. Ah, dude, we had to show them. Captain, my we Captain to Bobby, them. finally back in. Man, man, you know what happens? The 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 the, the mole. Uh, they keep calling him the mole. Is gone now. Yeah, everyone was happy. Also, when you're now the top, top, top paid player, captain, you know, you have some extra ginger in your, in your moves. But I credit, I, I credit the young man in the middle there, uh, Saka and Emil Smith Rowe. Man, those guys were trading some beautiful passes. Man, they yeah. they did all right. I mean, I in the league, I have nothing to complain about. It's <laughs> It's our other things. Yeah. Uh, our transfer window. Like ah, it's just you know what we just need to bolster up. We need players. We don't have players, right? So I don't. If he's as good as they say he is, he was playing for Real Sociedad on loan, and Zidane is known to be a hard-headed, so you can't really gauge how good he is because he's either very good and he doesn't get a chance, or he's terrible, and they just. Proving that, like, yeah, you can go to Arsenal if you want, bro. It's never that serious. Zidane, Zidane also, I don't know what goes through that guy's head, bro. But Zidane might not make it the end of the season. Zidane's under some other pressure, man, because he came in with some, you know, his, his record is too strong. He can't even back himself in that. I mean, back-to-back Champions Leagues. The league is, as far as Real Madrid's concerned, is, is, is gone, bro. They're not going to catch up. So is Mesut gone, final? Confirmed. Guy's gone. He's he's actually training. They're probably playing tonight, Fenerbahce. So he's number sixty-seven. I thought I saw him just... somewhere in Kenya, though. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's that's that. that... <laughs> he, he was he was getting a tan over there, bro. Yeah, that's you know, his like like older him. brother. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he flew in. You know, they got a private jet for the dude in Turkey. They don't have. Um, Covid uh, restrictions, so there's no ten day stay. It's just days training. Yeah. yeah. Then he sent a nice letter, but I don't know if that letter was uh, just to make it seem like he's a he's a gentleman, because I'm sure they gave him his bag and he's like, okay, I'll say some nice things about you guys. Oh, yes. book is gonna be <laughs> ah, dude, if you're owed nine million pounds, bro, I'm not leaving until I get something. And even the I think the Fenerbahce deal was it was signed in the summertime. But he was just like, actually, let me see how much money I can get before I go. And that's part of why I told was like, nah, B, you're just wasting space on my squad list here. You know. Yo, that's the reason why you guys had to file for them COVID uh, business rescue items. Uh, we had to, bro. Yeah, because we, we needed to pay Mesut also. We ended up paying Ganasaurus. It was just a mess, bro. They're going to start switching off some lights at Emirates. Just, they're going to just have strip lights. <laughs> <laughs> just by the goal so you can see where you're going bro. <laughs> I don't have no night games bro. <laughs> nah it's good though but I think for the morale of the team because uh, there's other players in this window that have been cancelled like they're not even being sold uh, Socrates they cut he just cancelled his contract they're like okay you paid me on Friday it's good uh, I hear Mustafi also wants to do the same thing where he's like hey guys just give me my last week's pay and then I can go because he Nah, he's a waste man as well, man. Yeah, that dude, he's cost us more than he's ever contributed, so he can piss off. I'm happy. Wear it down, wear it down. Yeah, but that in terms of the window, I, I don't care what else happens. If that older guy boy comes through, if he plays, we're playing young kids now, it's fine. They're cheaper. He's on loan with no option to buy, so if he ends up being crap, just send him back home. If he ends up being good, Real Madrid will probably be like, yeah, 35, 40 million or bring him back. So, not 70 for, or 80 million for barman over there, bro. And I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever made that fucking video is not going to see him. The internet is a wilderness. It's a dirty wilderness. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, in terms of windows, I don't know, man. That's what's happening, Arsenal side. I don't know, you guys, gentlemen, what's happening. So we're not about... getting anyone, that's for sure. Yeah, neither are we. Not even trying. But, 
but the January window, there's no need to waste money, bro. You must just start, or I said, I suppose you start getting like pre pre term pre agreements with players you really want. Like, hey man, what are you looking like in June? Talk to the agents now and then, because you're allowed to open discussions in the. So I saw this article uh, that uh, Liverpool and the board uh, prioritize Virgil Van Dijk over Mo Salah. So Mo Salah's contract comes to an end in twenty. 20- 23 or something, you know. Uh, yeah. Virgil van Dijk comes to an end in 2025. They've actually prioritized getting Virgil van Dijk to extend his contract, even though he's not playing right now at all. They extend his contract, they don't even care about Father's contract. They're like, no, we'll come back to you just now. Let's get Virgil van Dijk done, dusted. Is that why he's acting salty? Well, it's not that, it's just everything. But I'm just saying, that's funny. It's funny. Too. It was harder to find a good defender, though. That's That makes my, that makes sense to me, man. Because you can always find an attacking player. Them defenders are difficult to find, man. You yeah. find an all round like Virgil, bruh. Pace, strength, heights. Yeah, it's giant, dude. Bro. Accuracy, yeah. That's it's like, it's not easy, man. Uh, yeah. I was saying the five million is like a joke, man. John Stones, bruh. Hey, Stones and Gundogan were doing the things, bruh. Dude, seven games ago, eight games ago, <laughs> were you even thinking about John Stones, bruh? Nope. <laughs> No, that motherfucker's got a first team place locked down. Like them can- cancelos and all those guys were they were jumping him in terms of getting in line, and then now, hey, I know big kudos to him, man. He fought, he fought it, I thugged it out, bro. I thought his career yeah. was done. Nah, he was gonna end up at Leicester, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, shit! Uh, Where is that? <laughs> This made me funny. This made me fucking laugh. When you that's the one. <laughs> Van Dyke from <laughs> Wish. <laughs> when you order Van Dyke from Wish, bruh. <laughs> and then you play Reese Williams. Yeah, it's funny as fuck. Man. Oh shit, man! Reese Williams got a stray for free, bruh. Oh, they shot him. I'm sad, bro. <laughs> I'm sad. Anyways, moving on to two, the big fixtures coming up this week. Uh, Nothing too interesting besides, I think Southampton Arsenal might be a good game. Man, it's league times. Oh. I see I, Chelsea Wolves might be a good game, but I think those Wolves got charred last time, maybe not. We'll see. And Chelsea, the new manager, who knows who's happening, what's happening there. They haven't confirmed the manager yet. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You're on autopilot right now. On autopilot, I'm, I'll give it to Wolves, bro. Hey, but the thing is, you know, also know teams when we do play good in that interim period, you know that. It's it's and it's and it's been proven at Chelsea that the interim manager comes in and Chelsea did amazing what was his name? Back in the day. Huh? No, the one who won the Champions League. What is that? Oh. Di Matteo. What was his name? Yeah, Di Matteo. Di Matteo or something, yeah. Maybe it was him. It was an Italian guy who yeah. won the Champions League. Oh, Di Matteo, yeah. yeah. As an interim manager, he wasn't even manager of the fucking team. Anyways. <laughs> then they're like, fuck you, bro. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh. You ended up a shock or something. Oh, yeah. Then the next... Arsenal, you guys might get, get it from Southampton, bro. Nope. <laughs> nah, I refuse, bro. They, they had one on the weekend. Tuesday, hot fire, man. Hey, man, we've got... We've got I'm tired of this thing. They must go. And Rose, I, but Hogan Hoft, whatever he is, he's yeah, coming. He's a Viking buster, that guy. Yo, because he was so excited, like he was on the touchline doing. Oh, I was about to do cartwheels. I was like, hey, hey, hey. Because they came with their starting eleven, bro. We came with our kids. We're like, ah, this guy actually is serious about this. <laughs> no, don't worry. Obama was on the was there. They had to deal with some things, man. So hopefully he'll be back. Uh. We'll see what happens. But I, I, I'm confident my team will do something nice. Uh, and then I see then Everton Leicester. That's going to be a good game. That's actually going to be a good game. Oh, with, yeah, and that's, these guys are actually sneaking up on, well, Leicester's up there. Yeah. Everton's just sneaking, bubbling under yeah. there. So I think Leicester has more incentive to stay up than Everton to jump in because even if they win, they're not close enough to supersede anyone. I'm talking yeah. about everything. Who's out? Body is out, out, though. Yeah, body's yeah. out. Yeah. 
you used all his energy to destroy Frank Lampard. <laughs> but the thing though, Leicester like they've proven as well. You don't need body, eh? But it was Madison who actually because Vardy didn't do shit that game, bro. It was yeah. I had captained him thinking, yeah, the dude's gonna do the things, but mm, Madison was actually running the midfield, man. Yeah, the Madison's team. doing his thing. Mm. Uh, and and then we also got uh, top of the table versus bottom of the table. United versus Sheffield. Uh, Sheffield. Uh, I can't uh, those three points. Those Come on, Sheffield. Come on. Sheffield. Sounds like three points, but you never know what Sheffield can, can pick up. Three points. McGoldrick. Yeah, nah. McGoldrick. He's going to score a hat trick against United. Come on. He Come scored on, again the last time we played him. He scored like once and created. I was like, what? This motherfucker never scores. <laughs> and all of a sudden, <laughs> against Man United. <laughs> it's, an, it's an audition, bro. Man wants to escape the, the bottom of the table, bro. He's like, hey, man, someone buy me, bro. Look what I can do. Yeah. I know we'll beat those fuckboys. Yeah, we're just going to add another L to their fucking list. I hope I, think it's gonna... I hope you eat your words time come next week. Bro. I hope <laughs> you... <laughs> hey, we can't lose now, bro. Can't stop uh, you breaking, know who, bro. You know who can't lose? Liverpool, because they're about to meet Spurs, you know? <laughs> wow. Ah, you, should, like, you know Mo is going to do what he does best. Nah, man. These guys must make Mourinho shut up. Please, for the love of God, can somebody just keep that man's mouth? If we... I think, I, I think I've, I've said it before, but if we don't win this game, it's done for us. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> ah, do, do, do. <laughs> title, yeah, your title chase will be over. Yeah, once, you know. you go, once you go nine points behind... Uh, it becomes tough. Uh, never say never, man. Tough what was game. Paris of fucking that bus sideways, bro? Uh, especially with the Champions League coming back soon, so you will be congested to calendars again. Wow, this is actually a battle for um top four at the moment because you guys are fourth. Yeah. Uh, and they have a game in hand. Uh, one yeah. point behind. Yes. Oh my goodness. And Everton actually, we were saying this. They have two. Yo, they have two games in hand. And they're two points behind yeah. you guys. So this thing can... You guys can end up being sixth or seventh if you're not careful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's what we were saying. Like, if, uh, if you just uh, lose uh, one uh, or win one, it's such a right. shit. Yo, that's actually wild because you can actually go to eighth if you're not careful. Our next five fixtures include a trip away to Tottenham followed by a trip away to West Ham. Then a trip... Then it's at home to Brighton and then finishing off that five, oh, sorry, the fourth game is uh, at home to City, then it's away to Leicester, then it's at home to Everton. So, hell fire, man. <laughs> I know Brighton now, you can take those on, but uh, the rest, it's up in the air, right? It just depends on how bad you guys want it. So, like you were saying, Mr. Disamande, if we lose this game against Tottenham and Tottenham beat. Yo, it's Tottenham, wild. Tottenham will it's go wild. above us, right? If Everton beat Leicester, they'll go above us. If West Ham win their game the weekend, they go above us. If Aston Villa win their ha- they game, they, they sit right below us. So, I mean... They have a game in hand. They have, well, they have, two, they have two games. They have two joints. If Southampton win their game, if Chelsea win their game, they actually catching up to Liverpool and Liverpool if, if we lose. And if Arsenal win their game, they'll be four points behind us and if we lose. So imagine that, bro. <laughs> Yay! Ah, it's cold, bro. Mm. But the thing is, what's like, I'm looking at this table, right? On the table, they have the form chart next to it, you know? So you see, like, yeah. United, green, 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 draw, green. Yeah. Uh, Manchester City, just greens, wind all around. So you're just weaving everyone, yeah. And then you get to Liverpool's one, and it's literally like, draw, draw, loss, draw, loss. And it's like, it's. If we had won all those games, if we had won all five of those games, we, we would be sitting 15 points clear at the top. Yeah, bro. Let's, let's go football, man. The ball is round, bro. Yeah, we, about remember, we, start, we started the season with that six from fucking Spurs, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that and, shit fucked our goal difference up, bro. <laughs> How and can you had, start with a game like that, bro? <laughs> and we had that seven from Villa, so, you know? Hey, uh, it's wild. But yeah, anyways. So there's two games I think, coming up. I think, yeah, that Spurs level is going to be quite tight. Yeah. 2-1, I think. 
Yeah, and then the weekend. Is, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give Liverpool some hope. We need one 0 at least. And then coming off that week, off going to the next game week, and the only standout fixture from that one looks like it's going to be the Arsenal Manchester United game Saturday. What's your guys' games? Mm. I don't know. Arsenal's we owe you, bro. Remember that fucking phony one nil item that you came and you. You did it all, Trevor. Penalty things, bro. <laughs> After fourteen years, man, we had to do something, right? I know you got, you got, you got a fucking double. And- ah, we gotta do a double this year. We gotta do it, man. Ah, no, I can't do <laughs> this shit, bro. Nah, that's gonna be that's gonna be well leading up to well whatever happens this midweek or Tuesday next two days. Uh, we'll see then how the weekend will be looking like. I mean, you guys are on a good run of form, so it should be a uh, yeah. good game than the last one. The last one was quite a boring game. Well, the yeah, weekend, yeah. all I'm doing is praying for Arsenal, bro. I don't even care about Liverpool. I don't even care about Liverpool. Liverpool will be going to lose. I don't care. I'm praying for Arsenal to win. That's it. Fuck. We'll take it. We'll take it. But the problem is when you, when you, when you add the, all those wishes against United, they're red devils. They just swallow them and then just use them as fuel, man. Yeah. Like they will do it best. Did, did you see yeah, the FA, what was it in the FA Cup uh, when Greenwood scored his goal? There's a video of Robertson screaming the fuck in his ear, like <laughs> just about to shoot. You're going to slot yeah. him perfectly fine. It's like you were saying, if, if they absorb all the negativity and they fucking go and kill people, and then they go yeah. get they go and get Paul Pogba a new haircut with all that fucking negativity, and then he goes and shouts. Yeah, it was super saying, super saying Pogba there. He's going back to his old Juventus Pogba, bro. Yeah, but, yeah, but the goals he's been scoring has been saving you guys. Yeah. yeah, top-notch goals on top of that, bro. And that's what Liverpool is missing as a team. We have no one doing that from midfield at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to beat uh, Arsenal 2-1. Yeah. Yeah, hey, man. Uh, I, I'm not going to put a score, but I, I have a feeling we might upset you guys this year. Yeah. yeah. Anytime Arsenal wins against a team, man, things just collapse for that team going <laughs> forward. I right? see what happened to Chelsea in December. They lost to us, and then now. Brrr. So we might not be doing the big things, but we'll deflate your movements. So careful. Yeah, deflate the movement. You take the air out of the tires, man. <laughs> I will see. We'll see. We owe you. We owe you one, bro. That, yeah, that just traffic. Yeah, especially at home, bro. That was that wasn't nice of us, but uh, I don't know. Emirates is a fortress, boss. <laughs> ah, yeah, we'll see. Smith Rowe going to test all those guys. Uh, we might bring that new kid. We Once he signs on, we might, might bring some Real Madrid play, players just to to bolster up the midfield. Uh, it'll be a welcome to the English Premier League, like Timo. Eee, by trial, by actual fire. <laughs> uh, I'm just about, I'm sorry, I was just, I was, I'm just about to say, so after Sunday's game this week, mm-hmm. We start again on Tuesday again. There's the next game week. Back to back. Hey man, there's Champions League. These guys are trying to clear those backlogs of games before uh, the European games come in because it's going to be crazy when that happens. You know? What's happening in the league, guys? What's happening in fantasy? Fantasy league. Yeah, I'm having the best time of my life, bro. Oh, handos. Handos, my brother. Handos. My prayers work that you don't get a handle last week, bro. And I had to take that from you, homie. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had to take that. Get a 131 game week, bro. It was fire. It was nice. fire. It was fire. Even like my bench boost. Yo, man, I had fucking Melia. And then he always plays for Leeds. And then all of a sudden, he's never, he's not even in the fucking squad, bro. Like, I was like, what the fuck is going on? But uh, Anguissa came in, Target came in, 8 and 18, respectively. I had Pope in there, 13, Cresswell, 10, Bonner, 7, mm. Stones, bro, 27. Mm. That's what I got all the shit from. Uh, El Ghazi, 2, Son, 5, Fernandez, 16, Salah, 4, uh, Kane, 9, <laughs> Watkins, 8, and Bamford. Bamford and Salah, just the same WhatsApp group, bro. Getting rid of these guys. So remember what I was saying about. Someone like a Tottenham, like Kane or Son, could come in for one game and get more points than yeah, yeah, yeah. a person who plays for <laughs> two game weeks. 
That's exactly what happened. Bro, everyone got more points. Everyone got more points than Salah, bro. Everyone. I really expect Salah to do the things, bro. Mm, 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 mm. Even Son got more points than me. He only had an assist in one game. <laughs> I'm asked because also Klopp did that funny, funny shit on the second game where he just like... Oh, he's subbing the boy. On the bench, yeah. Bro, um... I'm glad you got your hundo. I'm pretty fucking well done. Stones definitely saved your ass in that fucking game. Uh, Fernandez was it an assist? Yeah, okay. Whatever. And then Target, you're lucky, motherfucker. When you came to Target, you were yeah, so yeah. lucky. Got taken off so before like, the heavy. Oh. <laughs> I was like, substitute. I was like, clean sheet, bitches! Bitches! <laughs> <laughs> and then... And then the next game, he goes and gets an assist, a clean sheet, and all three bonus fucking points. Yeah. Like, yeah, the next game is percent because, because I played a bench boost, and my bench boost was shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So well done for you. Well done for you, bro. Uh, so I, I'm even like I'm embarrassed, bro. I got 68. I got I, I got six points lower than the average. Me, bro. I played right, it's all those Southampton motherfuckers that you played, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they cost you, bro. Nah, at, the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, yeah, I bench was in work, first of all. Uh, and my players didn't perform. Salah, captain, eight points. Firmino, three points. Robo, eight. Cresswell got higher than Robo got ten. Son, five. And then, yeah, that's, that's, that's it, bro. That's it. I had nothing. <laughs> Martinez nine like barely saving me there, but otherwise no. Yeah. Ah, Fucking yeah. useless game week of my life. Um, I've given up on fantasy this season. <clears throat> Sad. My team not doing well. I'm not. Hey, doing you can well. hear it by the, like just the tone of this guy's voice, bro. Ah, he's in depressed. This man. <laughs> it's been a rough jam. Depression. Been a rough jam. A rough jam. I just I can't catch a break, man. I can't catch a break. Uh, <sighs> Like oh, even man. my even my draft teams did so much better. Because I have my because I play fancy drafts. My draft teams got over hundred. So I was like, fuck. Hey. Time for a change. I was thinking of doing a wild card coming up and I'm like, nah, nah, save it. Let me just just try keep going one by one. See what happens. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. I was like, I bench boost. I don't trust the, the conventional Game week 18, 19 advice. Let me do some wild, wild shit. So I used my wild card instead, which means I left 25 points on the bench. But... I was about to say, you should have played your bench. Too. I should have. But I had to I had to make a plan because the first thing was... Because I was almost... I almost hit the handle first, but Mo Salah again messed up my life. So I was like, you know what? I don't forgive you for that. So I took him out. Uh, brought in Fernandez, um, Stones. Um, I don't know what made me think of Stones. I don't know. It was in the air. Uh, so from the back, Martinez, nine points. Cresswell, ten points. Chilwell, seven points. Obona, seven points. Stones, 27. Yo, wild. Traore, nice one, 11 points. Fernandez. Eight points. Yeah. Gundogan was the dude who just shocked me, bro. Eighteen points. Uh I, I gambled between Son and Kane and took the wrong dude, bro. Because Kane on the bench had nine points. I had Son in for five. The captain should have I, I I wasted my captain and put in Jamie Vardy, right? So he got eight points only because I captained him. So it was actually four. Bamford waste man. Ah. He's a waste man. But now I should have just taken my one of my Arsenal guys, but I just thought, mm, let me not do that, which was a bad thing. Because on the bench, I don't know why you didn't play your, your Arsenal guys, bro. You guys were playing Newcastle. I had a feeling. I thought he was going to rotate them because they had played um, the FA Cup with them. I was like, ah, he's going to rest these guys. Something t- made me think that, but that was very stupid because we don't have depth, so <laughs> I don't know who he was going to rotate with. Uh, so that was that. So a couple of guys have l- left the the team already. Uh, we'll talk about that next time. But yeah, there was 112, so I got my hundo as well. 
I'm I'm not I'm not upset. I jumped from being number ninety some odd ninety nine to seventy five. So I'm moving up. Yeah, yeah. Stay in top thirty. Fucking four three three, bro. Ah, uh, hop in. I told you guys by the end of this season, I'll be in top ten in our league. It's so gonna right? be moving. <laughs> We're coming, my friend. We're coming. It's not finished yet. We're coming. But, uh, Mr. Titisaman, uh, you got 100 this, season, uh, this game week, 90 before, and you're still yeah, behind me. Right. You're still behind me, bro. <laughs> That's how far behind I was, guys. You guys are... You, I remember you're this guy was right at the ass end, bro. Man, you were depressed with, with what's happening now, man. I was like 140, 126, but I was... I was I was in relegation in real life and on the fantasy. I was like, guys, really? So no, it gets better. Don't worry. Don't be too. I'm catching you guys. Don't worry. It's not finished yet. Yeah. I mean, Tom Brady yeah. made it to this made it to the the Super Bowl with Tampa Bay, bro. Like, <laughs> the New England is confused. Like, what? <laughs> He's a bad dude. So I'm coming like Tom Brady, bro. I'm coming yeah, like Tom word, Brady. Word, word, word. Uh, but yo, yo, what, the only advice I can give you if you don't have Manchester City assets in your team, they've got like a crazy run of fixtures. Yeah, you gotta now like start looking at putting them in because they got West Brom, Sheffield, Burnley, like and Liverpool. Three points. <laughs> so man, that's that's like at least three games, easy games that you know City's gonna win, bro. Like with the way they're mm. conditioning the the, right now. Uh, just don't be an idiot and put in Kevin De Bruyne. He is out for six weeks. He's <laughs> gone, yeah. I no, bought him a I bought him a goal. I saw him a hatch against United. I bought him in. So let's see what happens there. <laughs> you brought him a Goldrick, bro. Are you fucking serious, bro? Yeah. Like <laughs> Sheffield McGoldrick. Yeah, I bought him in because it's a cheap option, bro. It's just, he's a cheaper option. I, I need Are you going to actually okay. play him? No, I'm not going to play him. Oh, okay, okay. I'm playing Wilson <laughs> because I have Wilson and I have McGoldrick. So uh, yeah, I know McGoldrick. I saw him miss this one sitter. I was like, this last game or the game before, bro. It's just him and the gate, bro. We are recording this. <laughs> we are recording this. I'm hope I'm hoping McGoldrick comes and fucks up United this fucking weekend, bro. I don't like I said before. You you know those the more fucking corny motherfuckers. Corny ass motherfuckers. Corny ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they come alive when they play United, bro. But I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a hit. I think I'm gonna take a minus eight because yo, there's some guys who have to go, bro. I gotta get rid take, of Salah and it's and time. It's time. Why you take a minus sixteen while you're at it, bro? It's fine. Yeah, fuck that. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're still the legend. Minus twenty. What did you do that time? Minus twenty four. Minus twenty eight. Yeah. Minus ah! twenty eight. He's mild, bro. <laughs> um, I know. I gotta take out Salah and I gotta take out Al Ghazi. Yeah. Because Stan, yeah. you've, you've opened a fifty point gap for me, bro. Fifty point gap. That's wild. But this 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 game, I had a good I had a good game week. So like I think the only way me and Stein can I can settle the season is if we keep going at this rate, and eventually maybe I pull back about twenty five points back at least. It's it's gonna come down to when we use our triple captainship and who's gonna do it best. Hey, I almost used it this week. I was gonna flop. <laughs> Imagine if you've thrown that on stones, bro. What would have happened, yo? Yeah, if you throw it on stones, you would have been the highest. Be like, the highest. Yeah. Be like Seventy eight points or something. Hmm. So, one person, bro. Yeah, but you have to be mad to keep triple captain stones, bro. Or Obama Young in the game week two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Painful, bro. Yeah. Uh, but guys, yeah, no, we 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 in for another long run. Eh? We in for a long run of. Oh games. shit! Who gets the toast, toast of the, of the day, day, yo? We're, we're just, just gonna, gonna drink water, water for this dude, bro. Ah. Been a while, yo, because fuck that bastard. Five. Ah. One thirty-one. He had one thirty-six. If I'm not. You're lying, yo. Let's see who that. Who that? Who that? Who that? Uh, Stein, we are Adams of this fucking league. We can say fuck him. You get the, you get the toast of the day. <laughs> you get the toast of the day. 
Yeah, Stein gets toasted to day for coming. Say, you're gonna act like we don't know this guy, bro. Like, yo, no. yo, you was there. No, like, you. I, I've been looking to the thing. I don't see. I, I think you're so wrong, bro. I don't see a one thirty six. No, he's there. He's number forty. L champions. Chagosiem Ume, one thirty six. Bastard, bro. Let's see what this man did. Martinez nine points, twenty seven from. Stones Castagna twelve. Uh, one Bissaka, four points. Cresswell, 10 points. Phil Foden, four. Suchek, four. Fernandez, the captain, 16. Watkins, eight. Vardy, four. Bamford, two. On the bench, he had Patricio and Go, one. Gundogan, 18. Robertson, eight. And Son, five. So, really, it was Gundogan who did the things. Yeah. Hey, man. You know the bragging rights are on this fucking four three three. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where they are, man. But anyways, anyways, fuck it. Anyways, we fuck it. we've been through the shit. Through the shit. We got Arsenal winning, we've got United winning, United we've got Liverpool, Liverpool losing. It's gonna be. I mean, and we are now officially yeah, past the halfway mark of the season. Half so, half. second half has started, gentlemen. Game week twenty. Mm. Live things. Hey, but before we go, we should just give a moment of silence for Fat Frank. Very well, Fat Frank. Very well, Fat Frank. Um, no one cares. Put- Puss. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> we're gonna put a link at the bottom. It's no longer food for Burnley. It's food for Frank, yo. No, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Fat Frank. You I have check, bro. No, no. Fat Frank doesn't need no food, man. No, 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 no. Well, I think, do you know why he, they probably sacked him? It's because his wife just gave birth to a kid and it's probably John Terry. So he probably went and killed John Terry somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. I'm 433. Of <laughs> crime. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's why John Terry is out there smiling at Aston Villa. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> So okay. then basically, and Ryan Giggs have to be the big bags of the, of, the, of the Premier League. So it shouldn't be hashtag food for Frank. It should be hashtag food for Fat Frank's John Terry baby. There you go. <laughs> That's a powerful hashtag. Man. Yeah, hey, yo, just, just put that right across here. Bro. Out here feeding John Terry's kids, bro. <laughs> During COVID-19. Ish. BSOP version, bro. 2021, bro. <laughs> Yo. I bet, gents, hopefully we will be soon out of our lockdown vibes. We can at least have a conversation in person. Yeah, true. Till then, we'll still be stacking these W's. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hide in my hole until we win in Tottenham, okay? I'll see y'all. Ooh. I'll see y'all after that. Respect. Respect. Peace. Peace out, guys.